you go into the tunnel there and Barry's the one opening the door, you always give him a fist pump. That's the first sign. You would then go onto the ice, you got kids on both sides of you. You know, you're giving them fist pumps. And then it's really starting to hit you. They're yelling, here come your Steinbach Pistons. You got the horn going, or song going, and you do a couple laps. And then personally, I always take a quick glance in the crowd and just kind of look and say, wow. It's an environment that uh, is really second to none. In terms of a Junior A hockey experience in Canada, it doesn't get much better than playing in, in Steinbach in front of a full house on, on a nightly basis. As soon as you get out there and hear everyone cheering for you, it's, it just kind of wakes you up right away and you're ready to play. We always say how thankful we are to the fans. And uh, when guys say that, we really, truly mean it because that's something that makes playing here a blast, night in and night out. You know, after the game, I can go into the lobby and a lot of the local guys have their parents there waiting for them and I don't have that too often, so it's nice to be able to go in the lobby and talk to some fans and just talk to someone and kind of feel like home. The potential is there, but potential is only potential. It's what you do with that potential. The not knowing part is kind of hard, especially going to your last year, but for me, I just tried to really focus on not worrying about it and uh, just becoming the best player I could be. And every night, I had to give, out, give my best effort, uh, not only for the team at that point, but uh, for me individually to try to move on somewhere else. After that first year up there with the Pistons, he understood what it was going to take if he really wanted to get to the next level. My challenge as a hockey player is, is definitely kind of my size and kind of my lack of stature. Paul's been great with me, and we really focused on my skating and my strength so that people kind of forget about my size and I can still move on to the next level. So and even though he's 5'8", he wins most of his puck battles and he plays a, a six foot plus game. You guys are heroes in our community, and whether it's with adults and the fans, but the children. And so we want you to represent and present that brand. And it's on the ice and it's also off the ice. And we've got a program to help you become a better leader or a stronger leader. And with that, we'll give you experiences to become a stronger leader. What we stress here too is enjoy your time here in Steinbeck and get to know the people and uh, your, your billets are gonna uh, play a lifelong role in your life. Our motto has kind of always been that we want to provide a place where the home environment is one where that doesn't have to be one of the stresses in life. Family is fantastic. Very easy to talk to them about hockey and about school or about my personal life. It can just be a safe place where their focus can actually be on achieving their goals. Get opportunities to read to the kids, uh, sometimes participate in games. Uh, they put you through the paces sometimes. Do a couple jumping jacks. These guys may as well be playing NHL. When they walk into the kids' schools, they are heroes. We stress community involvement and when, when players leave here, it's one of the things that they really treasure about their time here in Steinbach is, is what's taking place off the ice, how they've grown as people, how we've challenged them. The players get treated well. We provide them with the tools that they need to be successful in terms of training on and off the ice, uh, providing them with leadership skills. And uh, in return, uh, we expect the maximum effort. Winning a, a provincial championship and a national championship uh, is our ultimate goal. People would say you're just playing a game, but it comes down to winning. And when you're in a winning organization, it becomes uh, part of the culture, and then it becomes habit, which is huge. So a lot of it's just focusing on kind of your strength and your your angle of your skate and the angle of your stride, and just it's just the little things like that where maybe you might never know if no one ever talked to you about it. So it's good to have John around and Paul around, all people who have experience with high-level skating and. Obviously our schedule is extremely demanding with playing 60 games, uh, practicing, we practice virtually every day. It's really what you put in is what you're going to get out of it. Met with the coaches and they made them an offer to come play and you, can, you have the day to think about it and we weren't a half a step out of the door and Cole goes, can I tell him now? <laughs> I, I want to come play here. at each other. That really just happened.
<laughs> it, was, it was really hard to believe is what it was. Thumbs were sore from texting all of his friends and his phone the book that he said signed with UND. But as a person, I've just seen him mature immensely. Uh, partly, I think, because you come out here and even though you're building with a family, you're responsible for a lot of things. Then he came home this summer. It's just like uh, you're dealing with a, you know, a young man as opposed to a, a teenage kid type thing. It was really, that was very positive. You know, he went there to become a better hockey player, but he didn't only become a better hockey player, he became a better person. There's no doubt about it. One of the best coaches I've ever had. And I owe a lot to him, but just as a person, as a coach, I don't think he can get much better than him. We're here to support them in, in their dreams, and if that's reaching the National Hockey League or if that's becoming a great Junior A player playing college hockey or playing in the Western Hockey League, we're here to support that.